I, that's what I thought. I, I, I thought to give that, her a head uh, start on January. Yeah. Who knows? Why would you want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to start in January and not a day sooner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or maybe after the adoption of the budget. <laughs> the, whole, uh, the whole issue of, I don't know what their schedule is on their budget. Yeah. Like, I mean, if they'd already done, you know, then and she'd actually be in on the actors on her budget yeah. for herself. So there are advantages to it, but mm -hmm. I was going to call Paul and just say, you know, so I read the story in the paper. What's, uh, what's the deal? So. I, I, that's what I assumed when I saw it, that she would be uh, required to fill in a seat. So so did you want to take something full, formal, or did you want us to just chat a minute or two? I just, or yeah, I'm just guessing how the sort of weather is or what? Passing the torch kind of thing. <coughs> yeah, it's just is there a torch? Yeah. Does a torch come with the uh, <laughs> transition? No, but we, we leave you some pads of paper. Excellent. <laughs> some pens. Yeah. So, you know, I'll, I'll take my one pen, I suppose, you know, off my coat you pocket or something. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, you leave a note in the desk, is that, uh, what did, what did Lucille you know, leave you? Actually, <laughs> <laughs> don't answer that. That, is, that thing with the presidents is pretty cool. It is. It really maybe, is maybe I'll leave you a note. Yeah. Or a card. Yeah. yeah. Or some donuts. Well, that would be bad. Or a fun balance. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Or a tax increase. <laughs> or as Tom Martino said, I'm going to make it easy for my successor oh, to raise all the taxes. Yeah, that's now. right. 18%? That fabulous. fabulous. Can you imagine? Yeah, anyway. Well, what are the uh, plans for t staffing and transition? That's what we're to start talking about today. Uh -huh. There's uh, no ideas or it's uh, well, start not from yet. scratch? Well, not yet. Today is our exploratory discussion. That's why I invited uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Molinaro here today and ask him how we can help him uh, to be successful. And that's really our reason for the outreach, ask him what we can do to make his uh, transition successful, seamless, and to uh, help him hit the ground at uh, 100 miles an hour on January 1. And as I talked in my department head meeting this morning, mm. um, I said that, well, the first thing I need to be sure that Marcus is 100% uh, up to speed on is all our 911 and our emergency operations procedures and declarations. Because who's to know whether you could have a blizzard on January 1st? Yeah, and uh, so. January 1st is a Sunday. It's a Sunday. So, so. neither of us will be at work. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> There'll be a 12-hour stint. Uh, that's right. That's right. So <laughs> you, you'll, you'll be home thinking about, ah, tomorrow morning. No, yeah. Actually, you'll be here because no, okay. I was here January 1st, and it was peaceful, quiet. I yeah. was the only one in the building, <laughs> and I just sort of kind of just got the feel for the desk and started making myself some notes and starting writing out some little memos and things like that. So I suspect it'll be the only calm day of the next yeah. uh, four the years. The only thing is, is if you're a football fan, mm -hmm. you know, you're kind of working while you're watching TV in the background. Is there stuff. cable There's, here? Well, we have the little TV for you know, important news and breaking events. So. Like Joe Paterno? Yes. I oh my God. Do you have any recommendations for your replacement uh, up at the assembly? In the assembly? Yeah. Uh, that's a process the governor will initiate come next year, so... Uh, uh, sometime in the early part of 2012, we'll call a special election. So there, Anyone you have in mind that uh, you, you would like to see? I have a lot of people who would like me to have them in mind. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, no, at this point, uh, the political parties will start to interview candidates, and uh, I'll have some conversation with them. But uh, uh, it's a big district that really demands, I think, somebody who is uh, going to be aggressively uh, uh, active in both Dutchess and, and Columbia counties. But let me uh, just say that uh, the, you know, the county executive since, um, oh, I don't know, about 9.30 on Tuesday night has been very gracious. Uh, we've had a couple conversations uh, to date, and uh, uh, today's going to be our first opportunity to chat. We have a small group of people that I'll be leaning on over the course of uh, the next couple of weeks, but until we iron out logistics, how to make this work effectively for the both of us, today's, uh, today's an opportunity for us to, just to chat. And to just really integrate, you know, what, Mr. Molinaro will do with his senior group and how our group will work with them hand in hand so that on January 1, uh, he's very comfortable. Yeah, and actually he, he kind of joked about it, but, but uh, the emergency response uh, matters is uh, you know, definitely going to be an issue of importance and priority for us because there needs to be a seamless transition in that regard. And I, I expect that that's not even a, not even a question, but there's uh, certainly going to be room for me to, to learn a lot in a short period of time. Do you, know, do you have a rough head count of how many people you have direct employment authority over in terms of this office? There's no clean answer for that, Jim, because they're different civil service civil service status, right. uh, different uh, management positions, uh, different confidential positions, so it really is a very diverse group okay. and falls into many different um, governmental titles and, okay. and different uh, uh, work 
duty areas. Okay, thank you. All right, I think that's good. Great, thanks okay. for coming.